the wooden camera zip focus is it really worth it we're gonna talk about it and you know have a first look in this video so get ready coming up All right, welcome back, guys. Um, yeah, we're just gonna run through. Um, first of all, you know what everybody is used to. Pretty much everybody knows the Tilter Follow Focus system, and that's what I'm set up using right now on the on the Sigma 18 to 35 um, 1.8. Um, I feel like uh, everybody knows the Tilter, and you know I just added this. Uh, tilt a hand grip to my system um well this version i've been using the previous and i felt and i feel like you know it it's worked i never thought i needed something else until i tried out the wooden camera uh was zip focused and uh yeah but is it really that much better than the tilter the tilter has been good um no doubt it's still good it's still very good in fact i wouldn't encourage anybody to rush out of the system if you really don't use follow focus a lot but you know when you go pro you want to go beyond that now that i mean i can't say the tilter one is not pro if depending on your lens if it takes it and works with it very well kudos to you um but you know for some silly lenses you're gonna have you're gonna find some trouble um while i did not really find much trouble on my pixel zoom the 20 to 55 it pulled it all right but if i wanted to um log if i wanted to pull from above the lens which is like rig from above the lens to pull follow focus i cannot oh uh, the, the the um tilter one nano uh doesn't seem to be able to spin the lens so that's where we that's how i got here today and so let's unbox moving on to cine lenses and you know going closer to my dreams of making movies and all that uh, i have to start getting ready for some serious stuff so um hopefully this is the end for a follow focus for me um but yeah it is what it is as you you move you go you learn you as you proceed you learn you figure it out you know what you think of what you want to do and decide what you need so um what's in the box not much one thing i love about this is the size I, it just feels good to the hand it's like realistic like pulling focus you know it's just gonna be you're not looking for what to especially in the dark and i love the color of the white color too yes i love it i love the white color because it will be if you're in the dark it will shine out you know you probably not miss your focus you know where it is and um yeah but also it can be a distraction when yeah on some set so that you don't want any reflection on a glass or something but that's by the way you could we could figure that out on set that's easy. You could even have a black one replaced. Uh, what is on right now is the one with the stops okay that you use for DSLR lenses but you can always take it off and have the one that you could um, put your markings on okay so that is always appreciated that's that's lovely the, uh, so you could use with your cine lenses and it you know it comes with two two of them so complete it's like all-in-one solution um, setting up 
it's pretty easy that's flexibility no batteries no connection no but no worries about compatibility you could like i said you could take off take off the hard stop the one with half stop and put on the the extra one of the extras that comes comes with it and then put on the one that you could mark and you'll be good to go you have to push it in place because it got some little knobs to skip over so they can stay in place and yeah now you can do your markings and I just get an idea let me put a mark on no I'm just kidding I'm not gonna put a mark uh, at least not now until I'm on the field okay so it's really smooth it's really convenient to roll and uh, I'm loving it already but the price is it really what 400 bucks <sighs> the truth is you will never know um, as you can see you can move it you know it is a swing way focus pull uh, swing way like just like you have a swing way mat, mat box so this follow focus can be swung out of place so you could change your lens or you know so you could swing it off to tilt you could tilt it so you could have a lens change or adjustment and then you could make it fit like when i had my when i had the mikey the makey lenses the cine lenses they were cine lenses but the tilter nano was enough it could do the job perfectly all right so um yeah now we have to step up the game because it, they are more serious lenses now now this device i'm swinging around is uh is for your um dslr lenses when if you have those uh, plastic around it you could use that uh, it helps the gear you know you use the install that instead yeah that that comes with it but i really don't need it so other than that uh, i think it's uh, the, my final conclusion is it is worth it you only know when you buy so don't buy it <laughs> okay or don't test it if you find one don't test it because you might just fall in love with it and want to get it so thank you guys i got a roll now peace subscribe like comment if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe like comment share and let me know what you thought about this device in the description below and i'll see you guys in the next video peace